I was born with optic nerve hyperplasia. Um, I was diagnosed, I believe, when I was about four years old. When I started walking, I would walk into walls. I still have issues with that perception. 1977, I was in the Coast Guard and came back from Haiti and unfortunately uh, contracted a virus. This virus apparently affected my eye. So this is John, he's two and a half. We noticed that his um, left eye would occasionally cross in towards his nose. It's really impressive how much eye alignment comes into play in our everyday lives. Everything from interacting with people on the street, at school, at work. What strabismus can do to people is underestimated, even by other doctors, even by other eye specialists. I can't do notes. I can't, I can't do sports because I don't know which ball is going at me. I just see two things of everything, and I'm just like, I can't take this. Giving presentations in front of the class, even reading. I mean, reading a blackboard or reading the whiteboard is difficult. It's sometimes made it hard to maintain my balance. And as I've gotten older, that's really more and more important. Every day, people look at my eye that's dropped. They don't actually look into the eye that I'm looking right at them with. It's constant. People just don't know which eye to look at. So sometimes you have to actually tell them. My students, being a teacher, would ask me, why is your eye doing that? What are you doing, Mrs. Carrasquillo? And I um, couldn't stop it. With double vision, what you're doing is you're grasping for the railing. You're feeling with your feet the step because you don't trust your vision. And there's just so much input. You're getting input from two different dimensions, and it's, it's overwhelming. I never trusted myself shaking a person's hand because I would miss it. All of his psyche kind of breaks down as a result of this. This is not a cosmetic issue. There's only one normal position of the eyes, and that's both eyes looking in the same place at the same time. And when that doesn't happen, it affects how you communicate with other people. We came away from our initial appointment with Dr. Hunter, both of us looking at each other going, ah, finally, we found someone. It was with tears in our eyes. Uh, it was uh, such a sense of relief that we found somebody who very confidently said, no, this is something that's correctable because we have not heard that for 30 years. And it was getting worse and worse and I'm getting older. And, and I thought, you know, okay, it's time just to grow up and do something. Now we're looking forward to having surgery. And the big day is tomorrow. I'm pretty positive that this is going to help my life. Are we going to go to the hospital? No? I think we are. <laughs> yeah. There are cons to doing this, too. I mean, there's the risk of anesthesia. There's the risk of an overcorrection or an undercorrection. There's a risk of double vision. But those are all real risks. So my advice is to find a really good surgeon, someone that you trust and have good rapport with, and take their advice. I love being able to put numbers on everything I do. I get a number before, I get numbers afterward. It's all very quantitative. But in the end, the way that I judge a success is if you're no longer thinking about your eyes. Then, we've, then I've done my job. I don't want him at 12 or 13 to ask me why we didn't do the surgery or why we didn't more aggressively try to treat it. You have a great wife. You do, I, I do. You do? We've been, we've been married 38 years. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> to watch him get off the, you know, the, the recovery tables, like, oh, I can see, I see this, I see that. It, it was remarkable and it, it, it was instantaneous. I'm very, very pleased it's turned out perfectly. It's well worth it for, um, for the outcome. I actually get to ride a bike now without having to trip over something. Couldn't be happier. I'm so happy. Looking back on it, I don't know why there was so much anxiety. It is just so, so good, so good not having double vision. It's been like a miracle, it really has.